counter. Welcome back. So today we're going to be going over the ECM pod, the ALQ-184. We just got the long. We've had the short for about a month now, the ALQ-184 short pod, and they just released the long pod. The only difference between the short and the long, as far as I can remember, is the short has uh, medium and high band uh, jamming capability, and the long has medium, high, and low band uh, radar jamming capability. So today we've got an SA-6 out ahead of us. You can see that on the HSD. And uh, I, just for demonstration purposes, we're going to go down here and go through all of the steps you need to go through to use the ECM effectively uh, currently in the way that it's current, currently coded. All right, before we get started, uh, you're going to need to make sure you have your countermeasures management switch aft, forward, left, and right mapped on your uh, HOTUS, either your throttle or your stick. Uh, make sure that those are mapped. So <clears throat> your uh, CMDS down here with your chaff flare buckets right below is the mode switch. <clears throat> you need to make sure this is in semi or auto. Now I prefer semi because in auto the computer will automatically drop chaff flare as soon as uh, uh, there's a lock on you from a radar um, and that's gonna dump a lot of it's gonna waste a lot of your chaff and flare uh, if you trust the computer system to only, you know, you're, you're going to be able to get the lock broken before it dumps all your stuff, then go in auto. But I recommend and prefer semi, which gives me control over when the chaff flare is dropped, but uh, will actually take advantage of the ECM pod. But that's the only way the ECM is going to work is in semi or auto. So once you're in semi, make sure that this is in operate. This is the ECM panel operate make sure all of these buttons are turned on now <clears throat> a lot of this stuff is uh, classified and the documentation is classified so I don't really have access to that I'm not really sure uh, what these do I know that they're the different modules within the pod uh, I would assume that one and two is probably medium and then three and four is high and five and six is low band i'm not entirely sure i might be way off on there on that um anyone who knows probably can't tell you right now so uh regardless i turn them all on so that all the modules are activated and then i put the transmit switch to position one position one and two is the automatic self-protection mode um or self-projection uh, protection uh jamming and what this does one and two means that as soon as there is a lock on you, uh, if it's in one or two, the ECM pod will automatically go into transmit mode. If you're in a position three, you can do a, uh, a, a jamming like noise, uh, constant noise, and it'll constantly be transmitting uh, a really loud signal to all radars, everything, uh, which broadcasts that you're there but it denies uh, ranging data uh, for those radars so they can't get ranging on you. Um, I prefer position one and two. Make sure these are all selected. This is in those positions. This is in semi. And then to turn this on, you're gonna push your CMS switch aft. That puts the ECM into active modes. Now it is listening and waiting to be locked once that lock comes in from a sam okay there's the sa6 right there the uh, ecm will go into transmit so notice i've got an rwr signal but that doesn't mean that it's locking onto me yet so that's not going into transmit mode yet when it does transmit the ecm light is going to turn green indicating that it is now attempting to break the lock that the sa6 has on us so we're going to sit and wait until we have a lock. Counter. All right. Now the ECM has automatically gone into transmit and it broke the lock. Got a lock. It's transmitting, trying to break it. It just broke the lock again. Counter. It's transmitting.
and lock broke again. All right, so that's how that works. Um, if you want to turn the ECM off, just go at, uh, right on the CMS switch. That puts it back into standby. Or you can just throw it into standby or off the power switch uh, to turn it back on. Aft on the CMS switch. Right, aft, right. If you move to position three, you can do the uh, noise transmit. In order to do that, though, you need to make sure that your uh, CMDS mode knob is at manual. You have to have it in manual. Once it's in manual, then you can go aft on the CMS, and it is now transmitting. So now I'm, I'm really loud on the radar waves, um, but no one can really get ranging information on me. So <laughs> that's how the ECM pod works in DCS currently. Uh, I'm looking forward to some more. I know that they're going to be developing this a lot more. They've indicated that uh, electronic warfare is going to become uh, a bigger deal in uh, the next year of development in uh, DCS. So more to come.